WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavano for TFNN. I'm uh, uh, reviewing you. We got markets are strong again today. Not a big surprise. This is the ninth week up in a tremendous move. Uh, I've talked about the Dow Jones being up here around this 38,000 level uh, for about two and a half, three weeks right now. And uh, we're still there, 37,843. Uh, the NASDAQ has made new highs. The Dow Jones... Uh, has not quite made new highs yet. The NASDAQ has, and so has the S&P since that uh, high of uh, the 13th of uh, December. Uh, and then, of course, we're now into the zone the last trading days of the year. And then we'll come into January where we're going to be looking at some very interesting uh, cycles that will be unwinding. Uh, maybe this is a time when the market just never looks back and there'll never be another down day in the market. That's only happened one other time before. And that was in 462 B.C. when the Egyptians were trading against the Polynesians. Anyway, we'll be watching it very closely. The gold is down a couple of bucks. Well, actually, it's uh, still up on the day. Well, it's backed off a little bit from where it was. Crude oil, we've been very bullish that over the last three or four days. And uh, we've broken above the uh, $75 level now, which means we're probably heading towards at least 78 and maybe even as high as uh, $80 a barrel. Much of that will depend on what's going on in the uh, Red Sea area where they're having all this uh, stuff with the pirates and day-by-day -day broadcasting of what's going on. I just look at the charts and try to figure out what direction uh, you know we're headed up. Today's guest on Trade What You See will be none other than Norm Winsky of Astro Tens. He'll be talking to us about uh, some of these cycles that we'll be looking at uh, very, very shortly. But this will be a – it's still a thin week. Uh, however, the stock traders, they're more – uh, probably more volume than there will be in the commodity markets because of people, you know, leveling out uh, buy sales for their uh, P&S statements at the end of the year. But uh, for the commodities, it really doesn't uh, doesn't make any any difference at all. But keep an eye on that 38,000 in the Dow Jones, uh, because if we close above that. Uh, that would tell us that it's, it's doing something that it's never done before, and that does happen, so you've got to be prepared for it. I have not traded from the short side on this for the last, oh, five or six days because of the last uh, the last high we had back there with the S&P was a pretty good move. It dropped about 90 handles and then came back. Let's take a break, folks. 877-927-6648. Go ahead. 